We all love folk music, and you've probably heard a folk tale or two, but what do you know about folk art? Folk art is generally something that someone made, not being a skilled artist or a trained artist. It's something that talks to you, you know, it's got personality, you can th think about the person who made it and, you know, it, it's, it's usually colorful and just fun. And I, I think anybody can fall in love with folk art, it, mm -hmm. it doesn't need an education. In many cases they were rural uh, artisans, if they were a farmer he would carve a doll for his daughter. Or, or make, uh, if, if, if it was a woman of the home, she would create a crib quilt for the baby in, in the crib. Objects that, you know, they're it, not made by anyone well known, but just sort of found. So this was a handmade, hand painted piece. Correct. That served a utilitarian purpose. Exactly. Somebody was selling ice cream at a ballpark or at the beach. Right. And now you raise it up and hold it as a piece of art. Exactly. I see all of these signs around me that I would describe as folk art. Yes. They actually are not advertising what they really are, are folk paintings. And but they, they that's the way I see them. Each one is a folk painting. So a folk painting meaning that that they were done by by people who were not professional sign painters, but an expression of their uh, inner spirit, of their naivete, of necessity being the mother of invention. I think with folk art, we often have to invent stories around these pieces because there is no signature. We can't look up the artist. It probably is someone who's unknown. So it's sort of fun to piece together what we imagine the story might be or the identity of the person who created something like that. It's so whimsical and mysterious. The colors are amazing. The subject matter is incredible. I mean, what is this little man doing peeking? What's a horse doing here? I mean, could, could it have been like a stage set? It's just somebody's total creativity that produces. Something that we would use generically in a house that just ends up having a look by, because of the way they used it or made, it, made a use out of something. I look at this and say, this is folk art. Right. <laughs> Tell me about this. I, it, it's a really interesting example because it's, it's a utilitarian object. It was a device used in the process of weaving for storing the yarn before it was transferred onto the warp beam of the loom. So it was designed purely as a weaving device. But to our modern sensibilities, the form of it, the patina, the structure, it again has a kind of Mondrian quality to it. Absolutely. Very sculptural, you look at these forms, you can, you can feel the, the generations of, of hands wearing down an object. I'm very drawn to the Lip Lock Lodge sign <laughs> uh, that I hear came from the Adirondacks. Can you tell me anything about it? Yes, we got Where was the Lip Lock Lodge? You know, we haven't been able to find out. I mean, it definitely came right out of the Adirondacks, but, uh, you know, it just makes you wonder, like, what kind of a, you know, quirky <laughs> place it was. Yes, so, yes. But we really, we just sort of loved it visually also, you know, it's really fun. Can you tell me about the strange girls? Because <laughs> I've met a few in my life, but I've never seen a sign paying homage to them. Yeah, well, we hadn't either. Uh, we recently bought it, and uh, it came from a circus or a carnival in Tampa, Florida. And all the contents, we were told, were put away for like 30, 40 years. Well, I always say that about antique stealers, is that we rescue things for future generations. That's it very doesn't true. do anybody good if it's in storage for 40 years. And the fact that it's here means that it could live on in someone's home and be a piece of art and be appreciated every day. Yes, let's hope so. <laughs> yes. So as you can see, folk art is all around us. And flea markets and antique shows are all about breathing new life into objects from the past. If you have a favorite piece of folk art among your treasures, send us a photo of it on Facebook or Twitter I'm Bob Richter, and we'll see you next time on Flea Market Minute.